please make this animation on PowerPoint. So first open up your PowerPoint and get a blank slide, alright? Now if you don't have this grid, you can get it or get rid of it, just follow the rules, go to view and you have this ruler, grid lines and guides. You can just click on this to bring the guides and click on this again to you know disappear the guides. I'm gonna keep the guides here for a moment right now. Now, what I'm going to do right now is go to insert, I'm going to go to shapes, then I'm going to pick this rounded rectangle and I'm just going to drag it over there, boom, there you go, our rounded rectangle is ready and I'm going to click on this yellow dot over here and smooth it out a bit, done. Then I'll go to shape outline and click on no outline so that outlines will disappear and I'm going to make this shape fill with this dark ash color, boom, there you go, done. Now what I'll do is just squeeze a little bit you know I'm gonna make it tiny there you go so tiny done and I'm gonna keep it right over there all right done there you go I'm gonna go to animation then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna pick grow slash shrink animation and click on this boom and something's happening now I'll just go to animation pen and click on this triangle and effect options and then <laughs> I'll go here and make this vertical. What you will do is stretch it only on the vertical side. It won't stretch it on the horizontal side. Now I'll go to this triangle again and go to effect options and I'll just, you know, go here and make it 500 or 450. Yep. And press enter. Don't press OK. Don't click on this OK. Just press enter when you typed. And then click OK. But before that, do another thing. Click on this auto reverse and then see what happens. Alright, it goes there and it's strange. That's what we want, right? Alright, now I'll go to this again and go to effect options and go to timing. Then I'll go to repeat. Then I'll click until the end of slide so that it continues repeatedly. And I'll click on this slide, start with previous. Boom. And then click OK. Then we're set to go done now I'm just gonna go click on this and reduce the duration to one second all right now what I will do is just press ctrl D ctrl D to duplicate and place it right over here then just press ctrl D ctrl D again ctrl D <laughs> ctrl D does miracles right now I've got lots of duplicates and each of those have the same animation so we don't have to repeat the animation process again and again if you do it smartly once is enough the rest is just copy paste and control D now if I open the slide share then you will see that this is happening now it's pretty cool but we can get it much better what I'll do is just click on this the second thing and its animation is that I'm just gonna go over here and delay it for one second and for the next one I'll go and delay it for two seconds and for third one I will delay and three seconds to so get that here right I'm just gonna delay this for some seconds and you will automatically see what the actual result is when I'm finished with it so I'm just gonna fast forward it a bit and we're done doing all this tedious work if you want you don't have to do all this you can just make 10 and see the effect and now for the big show i'm just gonna click on the slide show and here's our animation sick isn't it now this looks pretty awesome itself but we're gonna level it one more step and it will create the pro touch for the final touch just go to this face this animation pen and you don't have to do anything just drag over all this all right done and you will automatically have selected all this then you go to this triangle go to effect options go here and smooth start and smooth in just make those equal 0.5 0.5 second click ok and there you go so you see the miracle right there and i'm gonna open the slideshow and to your mates and awesome animations created on powerpoint so that's how you create an oscillation or vibration effect on powerpoint and it would just go on and on and on and on again and you can make it another level you can customize it to whatever you want however you want so just keep on practicing and thanks for watching 
For more of these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel.